What's going on guys, Ants Trades back with another video. Um, I don't have too much to talk about in this video, really. I'm just going to be recapping the, the day the SPY had, the day that AMC had. It's a pretty crazy, crazy day today. Um, really quickly, I just want to thank you guys for all the uh, support you've shown on my channel so far. Um, I, I really do appreciate it. And yeah, uh, let me just jump right into this video. We're going to start off with the SPY today. This is going to be a little bit different. Um, crazy day in the market today. Um, pretty much what I was expecting. I mean, I said yesterday, maybe we get an inside bar. Um, this was pretty crazy. Just really quickly though, let's just take a look at the SPY. Just macro outlook on the SPY. Uh, from the breakdown in November, you're trading in this, this descending broadening wedge. Um, hit the bottom of the wedge here, bounce up to the top of the wedge, and then you form a lower low. Don't come quite down to the bottom of the wedge. Find a bounce here, back to the top of the wedge again, and then you come and find a bounce here. Uh, very simply, this is, um, you're looking at higher lows. Higher low here, higher low here, higher low here, and a higher low here today. Um, today was a crazy day. I said yesterday maybe we could expect um, a range bound, you know, sideways day. Uh, pretty much what we got. We closed, let me just zoom in all the way. And yesterday the SPY closed uh, about 419 cents. Today we closed 435 cents. So green. Um, and and that, that was barring a gap down. We're talking about we closed at 420 cents approximately yesterday. And you saw a gap down this morning to about 395.90. You opened. And then from there, you drop even more. You come down to 393.57, and you find a bounce on your support here. 393.57, find a bounce and come all the way back up, close the day green above $400. If that is not screaming that this market is ready for a reversal, I do not know what is. And I'm going to pull up the EMAs again. Again, really, really quick look at the EMAs. We closed over the 200 EMA again today, again, and we're sitting right below the wedge, right there, ready for the breakout. You have your 20 curling to the upside right now. This thing is going to curl up. If this breaks out and your 20 curls up and crosses your 200, this thing is going to take off and nobody's going to be expecting it. So this is looking very, very good for us very very good for us higher low higher low higher low and you're closed right here right under the the uh the top side of your descending broadening wedge and closing on top of your 200 with your 20 curling to the upside it looks really good um what am i expecting for a spy tomorrow tesla just beat earnings which is great that's great news for the market that's great news for the spy um tomorrow can go one or two ways this thing could actually break out tomorrow, and we could see a big move. Um, maybe you break out to the top side of the wedge, and you, uh, you find resistance at like the 403 level, come back down, um, and test support here on, on the 400 level. I could see the day going like that. Um, I don't see the SPY being red tomorrow. I'm just going to be honest. If it is red, uh, it's not going to be too crazy in my opinion. Uh, it'll probably be inside bar. Um, maybe closing somewhere around the 200. Um, but yeah, I could also see this coming out of the wedge. Maybe you get a wick out of the wedge up to 403 and then come back down trading rate range bound 403 to 400 and close the day, the day somewhere there. Or this thing just rips right up to 4, 406 and just keeps going. Um, still too early to tell, but you know, bottom line, this is looking bullish. Uh, volume was a little bit higher today than yesterday. It's looking good. So, you know, I mentioned in the last video, we're going to, we're, AMC is really going to be relying on the SPY. You know, once the SPY gets, gets this breakout of the top side of its, um, descending broadening wedge here, once we get that breakout in the SPY, more than likely what's going to happen is AMC is going to follow. And I mentioned yesterday, you know, this looks like an inverse head and shoulders here, which is bullish. Uh, the chart is screaming bullish to me. And, um, you know, like I said, the people that are betting the bottom here are going to get burnt. And that's just, that's just the way it is. 
uh, this looks good. It looks good to me. I, I don't see anything to be concerned with. You know, um, like I said, Tesla just beat earnings. You know, things are looking pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's the SPY. We'll jump over to AMC now. This video shouldn't be too long. I just want to touch on today's price action pretty much and just give a recap on the fractals. So we'll go full screen and we're still going to have to deal with this candle that is all the way down here, which probably should have been the candle that we got today all the way up here though. But you know, is what it is. That candle is coming very soon, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, today, AMC, uh, I said yesterday you could maybe expect AMC to be trading uh, low volume, range bound, uh, and that's what we got. It was about a 20 cent range, back and forth, up and down all day in that range on very low volume. Again, this is lower volume than yesterday, um, which is bullish. I mean, you have a red day on low volume. Yesterday was a red day on low volume. It's bullish. That is a bullish retrace. Uh, I think it's looking good. That's just the uh, the daily. I mean, these dailies can really be taken with a grain, a grain of salt right now, especially uh, knowing that the algorithm has gone into full turtle mode. This thing has slowed down completely, um, probably timing a breakout with the SPY. The market is probably timing a breakout, um, and it's going to run at the same time. In my opinion, that's what's going to happen. So really quick, um, I want to just jump into the one hour showing you the pre-January squeeze that we have on our left and then our present day chart on our right. So I adjusted the support lines from yesterday just to give you, um, just to make the picture a little bit more clear. Um, so on the left, you have pre-January. Um, you find your bottom, like I said this a million times, you find your bottom and then you come up to the top of the trend line and you get rejected. And then this is the movement you get. And I adjusted the trend line to match this wick on the left. When you come down from the rejection, I did the same thing over here. Just to make this look a little bit more, more clear to you. And I said when you get rejected, you more or less are forming um, a W here on some ups and downs. This was one day. This was one day in uh, the pre-January squeeze. You had one day of this retracement and then you took off. Over here, we're on day five. That is an algorithm slowdown. It's still following the fractal perfectly, um, like it always has been. Uh, and I, I really quickly, I just want to say this. Uh, my thesis as a whole, from AMC being traded on a three-year cycle to the fractals uh, pre-January lining up to now, if somebody can find a hole in my thesis, please come to me and, and share it with me, and I will look into it. I have questioned myself on everything with this, and I have not found one single thing that is leading, to me, le leading me to believe that this is not following the pre-January fractal almost perfectly. And I, I mentioned before, it's never going to be exact. It's not going to look the exact same, but the move is extremely similar. It's, it's almost the same thing. It's just the candles are a little bit different. Um, the price is a little bit different. That's, just, that's the only difference. So, uh, with that being said, um, you come up to the top of the trend, get rejected, and form more or less this W before you take off and squeeze. Uh, that was pre-January. Uh, when you do come down from this, and I should probably mention this, just I just want to paint a very clear picture here. You find support on this line right here. I'm just, I'm just drawing this to the bottom wick of the rejection. You find support here, and you have this little cup here. Um, so you come down and find support on this line where we have this cup. Now let's come over here and look what we have over here. Uh, the same exact thing. You find your bottom and then you come up to the top of the wedge, you get rejected. You have your bottom wick here, which I drew, I drew the support line here and it finds support on this. Um, that looks very similar to me. Uh, I don't know if it does to you, but like I said, this thing is following almost perfectly. It finds support here. You know, and then you bounce up and, and do this up and down W type move. And here we are today. I'll zoom in a little bit over here as well. And I mentioned this yesterday too, that this, this wick from the rejection uh, off the wedge is lower than, than this one in January, uh, pre-January. 
and we have the same thing. We still haven't come down to that level. That's 527. And I'm not saying that it has to do that. It definitely doesn't have to come down to that level. But I will say this. this the, the pre-January cycle was flat trading. More or less, it was flat. Now we're in, we're in a descending wedge. So the price action is tilted downward. I would not be shocked to see us break this support line maybe a few cents and maybe wick down uh, somewhere around 420. I would not be shocked to see that. Uh, that is definitely a possibility. Doesn't mean it has to happen. But what I will say is that if this was the bottom here, if we, if we did, if, if we're not going to come any lower than this, the next move is this. And that's not to say that tomorrow we're going to break the wedge. But what, what I am saying with that is um, it's, it's right there. It's right there. I mean, we could maybe trade sideways again tomorrow. I'm just throwing out scenarios here. Um, I'm throwing out scenarios because the algorithm has been very, very slow. Like uh, the, the volume is, is completely dried up. We're, we're trading in a tight range every single day. This algorithm is going to flip into buying mode very soon is what I'm saying. So with that being said, tomorrow, what can we expect? Maybe you wick down below this um, to, you know, 520. I really don't want to see less than 515 on that wick. I'm just going to be honest. I don't want to see anything less than that. Um, could, you, could it be off a few cents, you know, 510? Maybe. I just don't really see that being a possibility. You definitely do not want to come down uh, to $5 and below. If we come down to $5 and below, I'm just going to say this now, you are probably looking at coming back to the bottom of the, of the trend. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm just saying, uh, I'm just giving you information. Um, what I'm seeing, what I'm thinking, if I see the price of this come down to $5 or less, you could probably expect it's going to make its way all the way back down to the bottom of the trend line, trade down there, and then you get your break again. I think that is extremely unlikely. I think this might be the bottom. Maybe you wick down early in the morning tomorrow, a little bit below this line. But this thing is ready to go. Um, this thing is is ready to go. And I I really don't know what else to say. I mean, I could sh I showed the bars pattern so many times. Um, and I, I'll do it again. I'll do it again because. I cannot stress this enough to you guys. This movement here, let me go full, full screen here really quick. This movement here, before the squeeze in January, is exactly what you have right here. It's the same thing, very little deviation. Obviously the candles aren't gonna be looking the exact same. The only difference with this is that this is a descending wedge so the price is going to be descending. That's what a descending wedge is. But the pattern is still the same. This candle is still here, and it's very annoying. Um, this thing is ready to go. Uh, do, I, do I expect we break out tomorrow? I think it is definitely a possibility. I'm just going to say that um, we are now on our, you come up, get rejected, one, two, three, four, fifth day of retrace. This thing is ready to go. I'm not saying it has to be tomorrow. Um, and uh, just really quick, because I mentioned the bullish channel, that can be completely disregarded at this point, because um, if we do end up coming back to where the channel was, at this point, we're going to be breaking out of the wedge. So that bullish channel can be disregarded. If we do come up to the bullish channel, that would be over the wedge at that point, which means we're breaking, we're breaking over the wedge. Um, do I 100% expect a breakout of the wedge tomorrow? No. Do I think it's a possibility? 100% I think it's a possibility. I think we're breaking out of this wedge uh, by end of week. Latest is Friday. Um, I checked this before, actually, just out of curiosity. Um, Pre-January broke out on, fr on a Friday. So, you know, food for thought. Maybe that's how, it, that's how it plays. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be on the same day. But I'm just, uh, just pointing that out. Um, how many more days realistically is this thing going to trade in this range? <laughs> One or two days. This thing is a, if it doesn't break below this, it's going to squeeze itself out regardless. I mean, you're talking one, two, three, four, five, five days. 
if, if, if it just keeps trading sideways like this, if, if the algorithm just is completely drying the volume up and we're just trading range bound every single day for five days, fifth day, you're, you're, you're pushed out of the wedge. Um, I don't see it breaking below this. I don't see this thing coming back to the bottom. Uh, in saying that, um, in saying that this thing is not coming back to the bottom and the bottom is in fact in, we can expect a breakout very soon. Uh, I'm expecting it by end of week. I would be shocked if we don't break out of this edge, this wedge by the, uh, by the end of the week. Um, yeah, so I just wanted, uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. I don't want to go too crazy into this video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update um, as far as what I'm seeing. You know, I just want to make sure, because some people see red and they just get worried. Um, there's nothing to be worried about here. We're following, we're following the, uh, the fractal perfectly. I have it right in front of you. I mean... This is on, uh, let me go over here again. Nothing to be worried about. Nothing to be worried about whatsoever. Um, like I said in my last video, I'll, if I see something to be concerned with, I will let you know. I'm expecting this thing to break this wedge this week. T tomorrow or Friday, I think we're breaking out of the wedge. Um, if this, if this is the bottom here, this thing is only going up. So tomorrow you can expect a green day, in my opinion. Uh, how green? It really depends on the algorithm. Maybe it wants to just take it up and down slowly in this, in this range here, in this, you know, 590 to 550-ish range. Tomorrow is going to be a green day, in my opinion. Um, the extent of green, it really depends on the algorithm. If it lets it run, if it turns the volume back up, we're breaking the wedge tomorrow. Uh, if not, maybe you trade in this range. Regardless, it'll be a green day. Um, and that's just my take on the situation right now. Um, I just want to keep you guys updated on what's going on. You know, like I said, people get worried when they see red. I'm telling you that there's nothing to be worried about right now. I will let you know if I think there's something to be worried about. Uh, and I'll say it again. Uh, if you see this level, this $5 level uh, or less, probably safe to say we're coming back down here. Again, I think it's unlikely. I just want you guys to know that. And that is pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. We are still following the fractal perfectly. The algorithm is just completely in turtle mode, completely slowed down, uh, very low volume, very tight range every day. And um, this is looking good. That aligns with my thesis that the SPY is about to break out of its descending broadening wedge. I think that is gonna be happening this week as well. It's probably going to happen on the same day. If AMC uh, breaks out, that you could pretty much guarantee that the SPY has broken out of its, its wedge too and is going to start ripping faces to the upside. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share. There's really not much. Today was a pretty boring day for AMC. The SPY, um, I was more pumped about the SPY today than anything. I mean, AMC was very boring today, trading in a 15 cent range. The SPY today, Bouncing off of 393 back up to $400, I was pumped. That is extremely good for us. That is very, very, very bullish. I don't know how else to say it. Apish is what that is. That was very good. So we are looking very good for this still. I think we're breaking out of this wedge this week. Again, I can't control the algorithm and how fast it wants to play this out. So do not hold me to that. But I am just saying... Where we are in this fractal is right here. This is where we are. And then after this, after you break out of the wedge, it's three days and all-time highs. So that's it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make this. Uh, I'm already at 20 minutes anyway. But I'm not gonna make this a half-hour video. Just wanted to keep you guys updated. And uh, yeah. So if we end up breaking the wedge tomorrow, I'll be making an update video again, and I will. I will show you what I'm expecting once we break out of the wedge. Um, I could, uh, yeah, so I'll just save that for when the time comes. Everyone have a good night, and uh, I'll see you soon.